This is a plastic bowling ball. Plastic balls are designed to go extremely straight with very little motion. And this, this is a core. Cores are put in modern bowling balls to increase the amount of hook on the lane. But what happens when you put a core inside of a plastic bowling ball? Well, let's hope we never find out because that would be kind of dumb. Well, I guess we're about to find out. You get the Radical Spy. The Radical Spy is one of the first plastic balls with a strong core inside of it. And as the king of plastic balls on YouTube, I've had a lot of requests to throw this bowling ball. So we're gonna go throw it and see how it looks. So the first thing we're gonna do is get lined up with this ball, compare it to a soccer ball, a watermelon, and a storm summit ascent for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm going to. And then we're gonna bowl a few games with it and see what we can score. This pie has an RG of 2.51 and a diff of 0 0.53. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out in this video. I would say that's pretty lined up. So I'm gonna stay in the same spot. I'm standing 19 with the soccer ball and see how this looks. All right, so I think I missed a little bit left with the soccer ball, but we're gonna do an overlay and see how it looks. So next we're gonna throw it two-handed and compare it to the watermelon. Ah. Alright, we're gonna try one more shot because that was my first two-handed shot. And I just worked out biceps, and obviously that's not a good thing for two-handed. All right, next shot, watermelon in the same line. Tell me why the watermelon hooked a little bit more. Let's try the comparison one more time. Cause that doesn't really make sense. That was a better shot. All right, watermelon one more time. I think the watermelon actually hooks almost the same as the spy. It's pretty close. Tell me what you think. So the last comparison, the storm summit ascent to the spy. And now the overlay. So even though the Spy has a massive core in it, clearly the cover stock makes most of the difference for the reaction that you see out of a bowling ball. All right, with all the comparisons out of the way, we're gonna bowl two games with the Spy, one-handed and two-handed, and see what we score. Over, under 220 for both games. Let's go, game one.
That's pretty nice. I don't want to hear it, Reginald. <laughs> no drinks for you. No five pin there. Well, that was dumb. Uh, our max is down to 248. No! Gosh. All right. I need to make an adjustment here. All right, so my ball's hitting like crap. So I'm gonna move three left and slow my ball speed down by about three miles an hour. That might be the move. Such a good look now with that lower ball speed. Well, 217, one handed. Now we're gonna go two handed, and I bet you I beat that. Let's go, game two. It's not the best start. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Are you Hitting me. That's not missing that one. All right, we're on the board. We got a first pair. Took us four frames. So I'm going to try the same move I did one-handed. I'm going to move three left and slow my ball speed down. Because what I'm doing right now is not working, obviously. Oh my gosh. Push. 
That's pretty good. Oh my god. That's it. 217 one handed, 226 two handed with the front three opens. That's actually really impressive. But I'm gonna keep bowling and see how many I can string in a row. We have an eight bagger right now. So let's see if we can throw four more for a 300. Oh no. All right, that's it, thanks for watching, bye.